Hello and thank you for watching this demonstration video showcasing the automated incident response feature of Fortinet's Fortinac solution. My name is Greg Genta and I'm a sales engineer with Fortinet. The purpose of this video is to give a short introduction into Fortinac and then to show a demo of automated incident response in action. Hopefully you will see how taking advantage of Fortinac's automated incident response feature could dramatically reduce containment time after a threat has been identified. Fortinac is a network access control solution that gives you full visibility into your network, control over every connection point into your network, and automated response from incidents observed from all of your networking security devices. Fortinac is an out-of-band solution. It does not require span ports or mirrored ports or tap ports. The physical or virtual appliance can sit anywhere on your network as long as it has IP connectivity to your networking infrastructure equipment. It talks to the networking infrastructure equipment using SNMP, SSH, RADIUS, and other networking protocols. Using these protocols, Fortinac is able to build a live database of every network connection across your entire network. Fortinac can isolate an unknown rogue host from connecting to your network by automatically changing the VLAN on the port, writing an access control list, using a RADIUS response or other control mechanisms. In this video, I'm not going to get into the network access control aspect of Fortinac, but it is important to know that Fortinac always knows the connection point of every device on your network and how to control it. Okay, so on to automated incident response. What we are really trying to accomplish with automated incident response is a dramatic reduction of time from when a security threat is identified on a host to the actual containment of that host. For a lot of organizations, the actual containment or isolation of a host after a security threat is observed is a manual process that could take hours to days to potentially weeks. This manual process could require access and input from multiple organizations such as the Security Operations Center and the Network Operations Center. Fortinac Automated Incident Response can shorten containment time to seconds. To do this, Fortinac will leverage alerts from security devices such as next-gen firewalls, IPS IDS sensors, SIMs, and more. Let's take a logical look at this process in action using a typical command and control exploit scenario. A corporate machine that is compromised connects to the network and attempts to call home to the command and control server out to the public internet. The next-gen firewall blocks the callback, and then the next-gen firewall sends an alert to Fortinac about the threat. Fortinac receives the the alert and immediately isolates the host by changing the VLAN on the port to the quarantine VLAN. This can dramatically reduce the containment time of a compromised endpoint. Not only can Fortinac receive alerts from next-gen firewalls, but it can receive alerts from virtually any security device or security solution that is running in your network. Now on to the demo. In this demo environment, I have an 8-port switch that is being managed by Fortinac. I have a host connected to port 1. This host is actually a virtual machine that has a physical NIC that's been passed through the operating system from the hypervisor. This way we can see the desktop of the virtual machine we are going to manipulate and we can see what happens to the host from the host standpoint when it gets isolated. In this scenario, I'm using a FortiGate firewall. In Fortinac, you simply configure the security device and tell Fortinac what the IP address is of that security device and then tell Fortinac that it is going to be receiving security events and choose the syslog parser that you're using. You can do this for virtually any security device as as long as it supports syslog or API. Now let's take a look at the security policies that are going to be used for automated incident response. Under security rules is where you tie together a trigger and an action to create a security rule. I have one security rule configured already and notice this is what I call the catch-all rule. There's different ways to configure automated incident response but the way that I like to see it is first to create a manual response based on a less specific trigger and let me show you what I mean. In this security rule, I am looking at the FortiGate virus catch-all trigger. So let's take a look at this. In this virus catch-all trigger, I'm looking for anything with subtype virus in the alarm sent from the next-gen firewall. You can set this up on severity or vendor or type based on whatever type of alert you want to trigger on. The way I like to see this play out is I cast a wide net looking for anything specifically virus related and then Fortinac is going to correlate all that information for me about that host so I could quickly take an action against the host if I decided I needed to. Then what we're going to do is create a more specific rule for an automated action. And you'll see what I mean here in a moment. So right now I'm just looking for virus and I'm not taking any action against the host. So Fortinac is just going to alert me that a rule has been matched, but I'm not taking an automated action against this host. So let's go ahead and see this in action here. So on the machine, let's go to icar.org 
and we'll download the ICAR virus. On security alarms, we'll see that the alert came through. From here, I can right click on the event and I can see the details of the event, which is the full syslog message. Then I can also right click on here and say view host in host view. Now it'll take me right to the host that is causing these alarms. I can see the logged on user, which is Fred Flintstone. I can see the IP address. I can see the MAC address. I can see the port and the switch that this device is connected to. If I clicked here, that would zero in on the port properties here. I could also right click on the host here or highlight the host and right click and say disable. By disabling the host, Fortinac would put this host into the isolation VLAN. I'm not going to do that right now though. So basically what would happen, I got an alert that said that some virus related alert came through. That message would get sent to me via email and I could very quickly then take an action against the host by right clicking on it and hitting disable the host. Let's say that I did do that, I did disable the host and we disinfected the machine, we did everything that we needed to do. Now we came together as a security team and decided if we ever see this alarm again, I wanna take an automated action on this host based on that alarm. So what you do is you go back to security alarms right click it down here and you can create an event rule. So now I'm taking the thread ID and the event description and the subtype. And I'm gonna call this ICAR virus download. Now I'm going to take an automated action of disabling the host. There's different actions you could take. I'm simply just disabling the host and also sending the alarm to an external log host, which would be a SIM. But you can go in and add more actions. We can send a command line script action. We can send an alarm to a custom script, send an alarm to an external log host, email the user, email a group, SMS, text the user, disable the host, change the host role, mark the host at risk, mark the host safe, disable the port, run an Nmap scan, or send a message to the desktop. In this scenario, I'm just going to disable the host and send the alarm to an external log host. And I'm also going to send an email when the role is matched and send an email when the action is taken to my management group. If I wanted to, I could have this also play out on a specific set of users or a specific set of devices if I wanted to. So let's see this in action. First, I also need to go back to the policy and look at my security rules. And I need to put the more specific rule on top of the less specific rule. Fortinac reads these rules like an access control list. And so you wanna have the more specific rule on top of the less specific rule. In this environment, when a host gets isolated, Fortinac puts that host into VLAN 117. Currently, this host is in my BYOD wired VLAN of VLAN 119. So when this host gets isolated, he will be put into VLAN 117. So let's see this in action now for an automated response. Now on the host, let's go back to the web page and download the virus. Before we do that, let's fire off a persistent ping to the internet. So you can see the host is getting out to the internet. Now let's download the virus. Notice a few pings got through, but now we have general failure. If we look in Fortinac, notice that it's turning the port off and then it put it into VLAN 117, which is my isolation slash quarantine network. Notice the host has been disabled and you can tell that by the black X through the network card here. If we look on the host, notice that the captive portal is going to pop up automatically and alert the user that the user has been isolated. Your network access has been disabled. You must contact the help desk right away and the reason why they have been disabled. Within the alarms, let's update this and we can now see that an action was taken by system of disabling the host. As part of the action, you can send an email to a group or using an email or a script, you could send this information to a ticketing system. The ticketing system could receive that alert and be able to create a ticket and automatically dispatch desktop support to this host. And in the alert, it would have all the information that Fortinac knows about the host, such as the logged on user and the location, the IP address and the MAC address and so forth. Once the host has been disinfected or whatever you need to do to allow the host back onto the network, once that's done, simply right click the host here and do undo action. 
Fortinac will then put the host back into its proper networking segment. In this scenario, it is VLAN 119. Thank you for watching this video about Fortinac's automated incident response. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at ggenta at fortinet.com and also feel free to contact the Fortinet sales rep or sales engineer for your area. Thank you.